Hey everybody, this is Mr. Math Blog. This is uh, one of my shortest lessons right here. We're just describing the sides of polygons right here, okay? So remember, a polygon is a, a closed figure made up of line segments. So how can we describe line segments that are on the sides of polygons? So here's a polygon that we'll, we'll use over and over throughout this uh, short lesson. So uh, how many sides are parallel? It says how many pairs of sides are parallel. Remember, pairs come in twos, okay? We'll come back to that, what the definition of parallel is in just, just a second. Okay, so how do we know this shape is a polygon? Okay, so remember, polygons are closed figures that are just made up of line segments. So uh, all the sides, there's no curvature to this, so all the sides are line segments. That's why it's called a, a polygon, okay? So types of lines, you guys. So uh, lines that cross or meet are called intersecting lines. Intersecting lines form angles. So, so right here, this line right here, because it's a line, I know it's a line because it has arrows on it, intersects this line right here at this point right here and it makes up these angles right here so there's four angles right there okay actually there's more but we'll talk about those other kind of angles later all right so the orange and blue line segments meet to form an angle so if they're meeting then those lines are intersecting right there okay intersecting lines that cross or meet to form right angles are called perpendicular lines so if they make this right angle right here remember the right angle has this little box symbol right here so so it's like your wall and your and your and your floor uh, they they form to make a right angle or two walls meet at a right angle so these lines are meeting right here at this right angle right here okay so there's a right angle there's a right angle there there's a right angle there there's a right angle there so this one right angle tells me that all of them are right angles going around okay so uh, here the red and blue line meet uh, to form a right angle so they must be this word right here they must be perpendicular so that's what we're going to write right here perpendicular okay all right so and then we have other types of lines so lines that appear to never cross or meet are always the end are always the same distance apart are called parallel lines you might have heard of that before in fact at the beginning we asked about parallel lines they're just lines or sometimes line segments that that they don't uh, they'll never intersect they're the same distance apart all the way through so what that means is this right here this distance right here is the same as this distance right here is the same as this distance right here so that's what that means they're the same distance apart all the way through the two lines right there so here uh, with our figure that we had okay so this figure that we had at the beginning right here the the green and the blue lines uh, uh, would never cross or meet and they're the same distance apart can you see that this distance is the same as this distance is the same as this distance so these guys appear to be this word parallel right here so we're going to go ahead and put in parallel right there alrighty so uh, the polygon above has how many pairs of parallel lines okay well remember pairs come in twos there's two parallel lines but that means there's one pair one pair of parallel lines right there okay all right so uh, why can't uh, parallel lines ever cross well by our definition of parallel lines that we just talked about it says that lines appear to never cross or meet and are always the same distance apart are called parallel lines so they don't well they will never meet and they're the same distance apart so they uh, they don't form any angles they will just never cross so uh, all right let's draw this you guys are going to draw a polygon first with one pair of parallel sides okay and then the second part is we're going to uh, then draw a polygon with two pairs of parallel sides and then outline each pair of parallel sides with a different color okay so here is a um, uh, this is a trapezoid right here and so there's one pair of parallel sides right here and these sides if i if i extended this see they're not the same distance this line is not the same as this line right here this line is much longer than this line so they're not the same distance apart but these two uh, purple guys are the same distance apart. Um, this distance right here is, well, we'll just use this blue line. This, this distance right here is the same as this distance right here. It's the same as that distance. So it's the same distance apart. So here's one pair of parallel lines right there. 
okay, the two purple guys, and it says outline each pair of parallel sides with different colors. All right, here's a different one. It doesn't have to be, uh, it doesn't have to be a trapezoid. It could be any shape. I drew kind of a goofy one right here where I still have just one pair of parallel sides. The purple guys, these guys are parallel sides. Okay, all the other sides are not parallel to anything, but there's one pair. Remember, pairs are two. So here's one pair of parallel sides right here. All right, now let's answer this uh, next uh, sentence. Now we'll draw a polygon with two pairs of parallel sides. We'll do two of them. So like a square, a square is a good example. So the top and bottom are parallel to each other, and the left and right are parallel to each other. It doesn't have to be a square. It could be kind of a squished over sort of rectangle right there. Those are called, we'll talk about later, parallelograms, but anyways, the left and right are parallel, the two blue, blue segments, and the two purple segments are parallel, so there's two pairs of parallel sides. All right, you guys, hope that quick lesson makes sense, and take care.